Okay, hello everyone. By the title of this video, y'all are here for recruitment outfit advice and that's that's what we're gonna talk about. Um, some background, I go to the University of Texas at Austin and I rushed last year, so my rush was all online. I think it's pretty much similar, but also my knowledge is very limited to the school that I go to. I think it's still going to give a lot of help. So go follow me on Instagram if you're not already. I just hit 10K and I'm so happy, so excited. And I think I'm gonna do a sorority Q&A next week. So you should go follow me on there so you can ask personalized questions on there and then I'm going to film it on here. So my last first video, I talked about all of like how recruitment works, all of the rounds and everything. And this was a very highly requested video to talk about like what you wear. So the way UT is doing it this year, open house, philanthropy, and sisterhood round are all online. And then preference and bid day are in person. So I'm going to kind of give tips based off of that. Starting with open house, ours is all video based. So every PM will give a sorority a video and then on open house, you meet with your group and you watch all the videos together with your rogam. And so for that one, super casual. Like literally you could wear whatever you want because you're not talking to any sorority girls. You're just talking to your group of PMs, you're meeting your rogam, you're just watching the videos. I don't even remember what I wore, but it was so like, doesn't matter what you wear. Just be comfortable and be ready to sit through a few videos. Also be ready to take notes. That's not a outfit thing but yeah so if your open house like is in person i remember when ours was going to be in person they were still going to give us a t-shirt and they told us to wear khaki bottoms so open house i think like they usually tell everyone to wear a certain thing if not it's still like the most casual but like don't show up in like athletic shorts and a t-shirt if it's in person and like you're meeting all the um sororities philanthropy round this is the first round that you're like actually talking to Girls, my school told us to wear a UT shirt, so like our school shirt, so that's what I did. I just wear sweats because on Zoom you only see like this part of you. My suggestion for this is I wore like really pretty like big earrings and like a lot of jewelry, so even though I was wearing a t-shirt, I could still kind of show like my personality and like my style through like my jewelry. Okay, hi, I was gonna insert photos, but I decided it's just way easier if I show you. For open house, I obviously just wore a UT t-shirt, nothing. If you wanna see the exact one, I filmed Rush and all my outfits are there. But for jewelry, I wore, I don't have the exact earrings because they're my mom's and I cannot find them and these actually just broke in my hand right now. But I wore earrings from Anthropology. They kind of look like this. They were like dangly but had a clear thing. So it wasn't like super noticeable on camera, but they were still like big earring, like dangly earrings. A year ago, me wouldn't have worn these, but like, I think these would be really cute too. Um, these are also from Anthropology. They're like big beaded earrings, just that you would like really see on camera. Or I have some other examples. These are from Amazon. They're just cute, like white hoops. Could also do like a color moment. These are from Target a while ago, so you probably won't find the exact ones, but I'm gonna link like some suggestions below. I think these are also from Target. So that was the earrings, like big colorful statement. Great. And then I wore this necklace. This I wear in like all of my videos. <laughs> um, I've had this for forever. It's from Francesca's, but it's like this pearl necklace and it's like perfect for t-shirts because it's, it rests like about right there so you could see it in my t-shirt. And I loved it. Even like layered necklaces like what I have on would be super cute. Just like really I feel like pulls it together. With jewelry again like just whatever your style is have that show through your jewelry. And make sure your hair is done, makeup, just like your everyday, whatever you like to wear. If it was in person or if they didn't tell you to wear a shirt, this is also a very casual round, like sundress, like cute blouse, just if you're like, if you were like going shopping and you wanted to look cute or like going to take Instagram photos, just something like cute, casual, but not a t-shirt. If they didn't tell you to wear a t-shirt that makes sense. Sisterhood. This is where for UT you start to not wear a t-shirt. Um, so you want to wear like something nice, brunch attire. I wore this. Okay, for sisterhood I wore this dress. This was from Vici. It's super short. I just wore sweats. It didn't matter, but it has these ties. So I think it like looked really good. It's like a really good like waist up one. I also was thinking about wearing this dress. Would never wear this in person because it's long. 
but on zoom it also had like the cute ties i just had like a weird green background because my dorm had a green wall and i didn't like the way this color looked on that so keep that in mind i also i had another like yellow dress but i can't find it but it's in my original vlog if you want even more ideas sisterhood was like really hard for me to find a dress so i was like trying on a bunch in that original vlog and then for jewelry i wore my pearls i felt like with the bows in the pearls like I didn't even need earrings so another example sisterhood also and philanthropy they can be multiple rounds you can either get different dresses for each round or just wear the same thing I know because it was online I wasn't like going anywhere I just wore the same thing and same with jewelry a little bit I had nicer jewelry I wore pearls on this day I think and I did my makeup a little more heavier I curled my hair instead of straightened it so just like every round you get a little more like fancy for preference this one is the most fancy. Um, on Yuchi's website, it tells you to wear a cocktail dress. I wore this dress. Okay, for pref, a lot of people will tell you that you're supposed to wear black, or at least at UT, because UT used to tell everyone to wear black, and now they don't. I didn't wear black because I had no idea for that rule, and I feel like a lot of people won't know that rule, so wear whatever you want. But I wore this, like, wrap dress. It's really not as cute, like, on the hanger. But you can kind of see it has like puffy satin sleeves. Again, another very good like zoom dress um, because they're, all the action's up here versus down here. But I would have worn this in person too because it's just really cute. The satin material makes it like dressy. And then for jewelry with this, you can see that this was like very much like a v-neck. So I wore these layered necklaces from Madewell. They're like these coin necklaces um and i layered them down the v-neck kind of like what i have on but just like with these and then i wore these gold hoops um also from anthropology and they just looked like super simple elegant on and then again cut my hair down and curled it like i did for sisterhood for this round if you're in person which it is i think you wear heels for preference you're only going to two houses so you can wear heels because you're not walking very far i'm gonna go into like do's and don'ts specifically later but that's like this is the nicest round and then for bid day you still want to kind of dress up like wear a cute romper or a cute sundress doesn't have to be as fancy as preference but you still want to look cute and then wear like sneakers or like just comfortable shoes because you're going to be running to your house and then standing a lot like taking photos i mean it was online but i think i probably still would have worn this in person it's this cute little sundress from Princess Polly. It's super like comfy. It's like super stretchy in the back. I probably would have worn this with like white shoes. Um, let me see if I have them. I don't have them up here, so. Probably wouldn't have worn these with white sneakers. When I took photos, I just put the t-shirt on, like tied the t-shirt and it almost looked like I had a skirt on. Just very like, does not have to be much, but still kind of like cute. Most people wear rompers or dresses. They'll usually like give you a shirt or something to put on um, or you'll go home and change. I don't really know how it works because my day was online, but I think you like go take pictures and then you go back and change into your outfit and then you come back, but I'm not positive. I actually have no idea how that works. Do's and don'ts. I wouldn't recommend getting anything like super sparkly. Like no one really wears like a full sequin dress it's more like sunday brunch kind of thing i know i keep saying brunch attire so i hope that you'll know what that means nothing like too tight like i feel like it's fine if you're wearing a tight dress but you want to be comfortable a lot of people say like don't wear something that you would wear to your 21st birthday if that like sums up the sparkly tight stuff my advice would be to just like dress up your outfits with jewelry especially on zoom it doesn't really matter what you're wearing as much just like you want to look put together all together i hope that helped a little also a reminder i'm linking a lot of examples below that y'all can go or like my favorite places where i think you would be able to find jewelry or dresses or stuff like that good luck with rush everything's going to go great i will see y'all in my next video other rounds, I really don't know what shoes you should wear. I'm sorry. Go to, maybe go to another video for that one.